Hello YouTubers, how are you? Welcome back to my channel Burhan Rana. Today we are going to talk about three U tools. Linux U disk. It is fairly easy to use. It supports UEFI and legacy BIOS, and it supports Intel plus AMD in one file. You don't need to download two separate files. And all that stuff it is really really easy to make I'll show you how you can make it and I will show you both UEFI and legacy BIOS by booting to them one by one okay so stay tuned let's see what is it all about type 3 U tools here type check rain if you see the second result and click on it you see all the instructions about downloading it and writing it to the USB flash okay so I will give this link in the description also if you want to check it out and you can you can follow my tutorial it is really really easy I will attach the required files in the description and there will be a complete package first there will be the ISO and second there will be the software you will need to flash the ISO onto your, your USB flash drive so first of all I want to show you that uh, I have my 2 GB USB drive attached uh, you need at least 1 GB USB flash if you have a larger one you can use it yes people ask me that can I use the larger USB flash drive yes you can use a larger USB flash drive or you can attach a USB SSD or a USB hard drive that supports USB as long as supports USB okay let's begin I'll show you uh, how you can make it first of all you will get these two files in my package that I will attach okay first of all let's unzip both of them let's extract extract both of them first of all so um, it will take a few seconds okay depending on the speed um, and first of all you will open this disk imager don't worry I will attach everything it will be very very easy for you run it as once it opens make sure that it corresponds to your USB drive my USB drive is E okay I have actually attached an SD card so uh, I am I have to make sure that it is the USB flash drive I want to flash okay drive E I'll select C select E and uh, open and now browse to the ISO file that you have already downloaded check in Linux double click and you will see that this software doesn't show any file so from here tab and select all files okay see now the file is seen by the software double click okay the software has recognized it now click right okay this warning will appear type yes tap yes the process will take a few seconds I will pause this video and I will resume this video when the process is complete okay the right is successful 
tap ok exit the software and now you have to restart the computer and i will see you at the boot manager screen i'll show you both uefy mode and i will show you both legacy boot okay stay tuned so guys we are in the boot manager now i will show you how you can boot into legacy mode and the uefi mode i want to show you because i want to satisfy you that it works with both the modes okay this is the uefi mode that my computer supports okay and this is the legacy boot i'll use the legacy boot first of all so so, so, so that you can be satisfied that it works press enter now you don't need to do anything just wait like two to three seconds and it will automatically boot into the live usb see i hope you can see it clearly here we go we are in, in check in 0.9.8.2 without doing anything i i didn't need to type anything or or press any key so you will be booted right into it now you can attach your iphone and you can jailbreak all options work you can check this option allow untested versions to jailbreak a version that came brand new my camera is not focusing but you can see the option okay now let's try the uefi boot i will first restart it using control alt plus delete and i will boot right into the boot manager okay we are in the boot manager first of all i told uh, i have shown you the legacy boot now i will show you the uefi boot press enter yes this screen can be a bit different but same you don't need to press any key or type anything it will now boot into the uefi boot the process is really fast so i am not skipping anything see you are in check in 0.9.8.2 i have shown you both modes and this works on intel and amd both so yes uh, right now it don't support uh, check range 0.10.0 but i will share a link of rain usb that you can use to jailbreak using uh, 0.10.0 but once uh, 0.10.0 comes out for check uh, for uh, linux i will create a usb myself usb file my uh, usb flash drive myself i will give the data iso to you in that video that i will make so don't worry stay tuned please subscribe to my channel and please like this video that really motivates me for making more interesting content for you so that's all for today Thank you for watching until the last see you in the next video